Good day my friends, here is Vancer and welcome in this video. Today I will show you how to install and download the mod The Dawnless Days for Total War Attila. Now, if you don't know about this mod, I will tell you that the Dawnless Days is about the Lord of the Rings. That's right, we got another Lord of the Rings mods, but not for Medieval 2, like the Third Age or Divide a Conquer, but here we got for Total War Attila, the Dawnless Days. And this mod is beautiful, just look at those pictures here. That's right, on those images you can see absolutely beautiful models. Uh, just look at those models, my god, this is so beautiful, like seriously, this is so good, just just look at those Easterlings, like come on, this is so great. Or, I don't know, look at those models here, like, like seriously, okay, uh, I like Divad a Conquer for Medieval 2, but on those days, those models are pretty, let's be honest, those models look so good, but then again, Total War Attila has much better graphics compared to Medieval 2, so no one should be surprised by this. Alright then, so I will show you how to download and install this mod. Now, this mod, The Dawnless Days, you will not find this mod on ModDB, you will not find this mod on Steam Workshop, you will find this mod here on Nexus. Okay, Nexus mods. Now don't worry, the link will be in the description, okay? So don't so don't worry about this. And right now I will show this. So when it comes to the download days, you will go here where you got files. And here you will download the the latest version, alpha version 0 0.8.0. Okay? This manual version. Of course, you can download and install with installer, yeah. But I download this, which is manual because because let's be honest, it is pretty easy to install this mod manually. Okay, that's why I will show you how to install the uh, install the manual version. So you will go here to the files, and here you will download this. Okay, manual download. Okay, the latest version, alpha version 0 0.8.0, okay. When you are done with this, you will get this file here, as you can see. The, the, as you can see, the, the downless days. Alright, um, and you will open this file with either WinRAR or 7-zip. I use 7-zip, so of course I use 7-zip. And inside this folder, you have all those files here. Now. The rest is pretty easy. You will go to the Steam and to your Total War Attila. Basically, it is, you know, you know, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Total War Attila. Yeah, it's pretty easy. And to Data Folder, okay. And here inside the da inside Data Folder, uh, Data Folder, as you can see, I already got all of those files, as you can see. So what you will do, you will just Drop all those files inside your data folder of your Total War Attila. And that's done. You have basically installed the mod. Okay, so again, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Total War Attila, and Data. Okay, and inside it, and inside your data folder, you will drop those files. It's, it's pretty easy. Then, when you are done with this, you will just um, run Total War Attila, okay? And now here we got, of course, Mod Manager. So here we will go to the modifications and make sure all those four files are checked, okay? And in correct order, which means pack one, two, three, and four, okay? Make sure all of this is in the correct order, okay? And make sure all this is checked. If you are done with this, then you will just click play 
and the game will run. And here we are guys, as you can see, the mod was successfully installed. That's right, the Domless Day is Total War. Version 0 0.8.0. So, yeah, the latest version. And yes, as you can hear, I disabled the music because, you know, this mod, just like Third Age for Medieval 2, this mod also got Lord of the Rings music. And as you know, Lord of the Rings music, all this is heavily copyrighted. That's the biggest problem with this. Oh well. Now, when it comes to this version, you don't have the campaign map, okay? Which means that this mod so far doesn't have the campaign map. But it has the battles. So let's jump to the custom battle, okay? And as you can see here we got the factions Dale. Dol Guldur, Danondings, Easterlings, Gondor, I know, Harad, Rohan, Mordor, Imardris, uh, Lindon, so yes, we got all those factions. So, let's choose the classic battle, okay? Let's choose Gondor versus Mordor. There we go. And we'll play as Gondor. So, yeah, let's start with this. Alright, and here we are. Okay, guys, so... Uh, the catapults will go there. Oh, look at this, Faramir. <laughs> we got our boy Faramir with with all of those rangers. Just look at those models. Oh my god, this is so good. They look so good. Just, yeah, just look at them. They look so good. Look at those models. Oh my god. We await your command. Yeah. Oh yes, here is Faramir, right? I think it is him. And hello Faramir. Yeah, this is so cool. I really like it. And what about the others? For example, the rest of the Condor army. Here get uh, the cavalry. Uh, the rangers. Okay, well, okay, let's check those others. Okay, so... Uh, we checked the Faramir and all those rangers. And right now let's, you know, do Ephelion rangers. And right now let's choose all of those archers here. So how they look at it. And, and as you can see, those guys, they look so good. Like, uh, like seriously, the game, like seriously, uh, the modders, you know, the guys who are working on this mod, they did such a good job. Just, just, just look at all of those high quality models. This is so cool. Like seriously, this is so good. Damn it. Nice. <laughs> I look at this guy, this guy be like, oh, why I'm even here? <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. And and look at all uh, and look at, at this infantry. Okay. What are those the what are those guys? Pinav Galen Spearman. Okay. Interesting. I never seen those guys. But then again, um There are many things which we didn't see in, in movies, yeah? Because you know movies are very different from the books. Many things which are mentioned in the books are not even mentioned or shown in the movies. You know what I mean? And I think that the mod developers who were creating this mod, they probably got inspiration from the books, rather than from the movie, I think so. Oh, look at that Gondor Spear Infantry. It's so cool. And look at uh, the cavalry as well. 
Nice. And also, let's check Mordor as well. Okay, uh, let's pause and let's check the Mordor units. Oh, look at that, Uruk archers. <laughs> Just look at those models, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this is so cool. And here we got Orc Pillagers. Yep. Oh, Morgul Wolves. Oh, really cool. Servants of the Eye. Jesus, they all look like, you know, uh, the Mouth of Sauron. Yeah, I think you all remember uh, the Mouth of Sauron, right? From the movies. Yeah, they look pretty similar to him. Just, 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 you know, look at those guys. Yeah. They are probably the Black, the Black Numenorians. Because, because, you know, the month of Sauron, I think he was also the Black, Numen the Black Numenorian, which means that he wasn't an orc, he was a man. Y you know, he, you know, he, you know, he was a, uh, a human. Right. So, yeah, those guys are definitely humans as well. Yeah, basically back Numenorians. Jesus. Okay, they uh, they look cool. Here we got orc rubble. Yep, again the orcs. Here we got orc pikes. Yeah. This is what we've waited for, lads. <laughs> nice. Here we got orc rubble again. They're trying to take out our general! Defend him! Yeah, okay, okay. Alright. So yes, as you can see, this mod looks really cool. Uh, the models, they are really great quality. Like, seriously, uh, there is no complaining about this. Uh, the Gondorian models, they, they also uh, look great. So, yeah. Basically, no complaints here as well. You see, the only problem is that there is unfortunately no campaign, you know, no campaign map, which means that they are only custom battles. But then again, uh, many people who enjoy Total War games, they like Total War mostly because of battles, rather because of campaign map, you know what I mean. So, I think that, you know, the absence of campaign map is not such a, a big issue for many of you guys who might prefer custom battles over to, let's say, campaigns. Alright then, so, yeah guys, this is the end of this tutorial video, I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, consider, consider subscribe to my channel, of course, leave a comment down below, click the like button, me on social websites like Twitter and Instagram. I on Twitter every day. And we will see you later in the next video. So see you later guys and have a nice day.